The objective today is to convert decimals to fractions. What are decimals? A decimal is another way of writing a fraction. It has a whole number followed by a decimal point and a fractional part, more numbers. This is a clear example, 4 and 59 hundredths or 4.59. As we can see, you have a whole number to the left of the decimal point and then you have more numbers to the right of the decimal point. These numbers represent a fractional part. How are we going to convert these decimals to fractions? We are going to use a place value chart. To the left of the decimal, we have our whole numbers. The first is represented by the unit or the ones. Then we have the tens. Then we have the hundreds, thousands, and so on. To the right of the decimal point, our first unit is the tens, then hundreds, then thousands, and so on. So let's do some examples. How can we express 4 tenths or 0 0.4 as a fraction in simplest form? Well, we are going to be using our place value chart. So I am going to position my numbers in the correct place value so I don't have a hole, so 0 and then my decimal point, and then that 4, the last digit of my number, is positioned in the tens place. This place value is going to be my denominator. So to convert 0 0.4 to a fraction, my denominator is going to be a tenth. And the number is 4. So this reads 4 tenths. Fractions must be always in simplest form. So how do I know if I can simplify this fraction? Well, 4 and 10 are even. That means that I can divide them by 2. If you want a refresher about simplifying fractions, I am going to leave here in the description the link to simplifying fractions. So 4 and 10 are even numbers. I can simplify by 2, both are divisible by 2, so 4 divided by 2, that will be 2, 10 divided by 2, that will be 5. 2 fifths will be my fraction in simplest form. So 4 tenths, or 0 0.4, is equivalent to 2 fifths. 2 fifths will be my answer. What about this one? 15 hundredths, or 0 0.15? Again, I'm using my place value chart. I am going to position these numbers in their corresponding place value. So I have zero holes again. That one is positioned in the tens, and this five, the last digit, is positioned in the hundreds. So focus on the last digit. That five is in the hundreds place. Remember that this place value will be my denominator. That's why we need to focus on the last digit of your number. So 15 will be your numerator because we're dealing with the whole number now. 15 hundreds, hundreds, that will be my denominator. Is this fraction in simplest form? Well, can we divide 15 and 100 by 2? By 2 we cannot because 15 is not even. What about 3? Well, 15 is divisible by 3, but 100, I am going to check with the rule of divisibility of 3. That is adding the digits, 1 plus 0 plus 0, that will be 1. 1 is not a multiple of 3, so 100 is not divisible by 3. I am using the rules of divisibility to check if I can divide these numbers by the same factor. If you want a refresher about rules of divisibility, I am also going to link the video here in the description for you. So by 3 I cannot, by 4 I cannot either because 15 is not a multiple, is not a multiple of 4, but I can divide them by 5. Both are going to be divisible by 5 because the rule of divisibility of 5 says that if the number ends with 5 or 0, I can do it by 5, so I'm dividing both by 5. 15 divided by 5, that will be 3. 
100 divided by 5, that will be 20. I cannot simplify this fraction anymore, so I am done. 3 twentieths is the same, or is equivalent, to 15 hundredths. So this will be my fraction in simplest form. What about this one? 4 and 36 hundredths. Now we have a whole number, so again, we are going to use our place value chart. In this case, we do have a unit that is 4, and then we have a 3 in the tens and a 6 in the hundreds. Our 4 is going to be our whole number. This is going to be a, fra a mixed fraction. So I am going to set aside my holes, that in this case is 4, and then I am going to convert 36 hundredths in a fraction. So focus on the last digit, 6 is in the hundredths place. So that will be my denominator, 36 hundredths will be the fraction of the fractional part. Can I simplify this fraction? 36 and 100 are even numbers. I can divide them by 2. But I'm also noticing that I can divide by 4. Both are divisible by 4, so I'm going to try 4. If you struggle with your multiples, you can start with dividing by 2. At the end, we will have the same answer, but I'm going to start with 4. 36 divided by 4, that is 9. 100 divided by 4, that will be 25. 9 and 25, or 9 25 that's already in simplest form. But don't forget to include your holes. This is going to be a mixed fraction. So final answer is going to be 4 holes, 9 25 This mixed fraction is equivalent to the decimal 4 and 36 hundredths. Now is your turn. Express each decimal, each decimal as a fraction in simplest form. Don't forget in simplest form. Also, don't forget to use your place value chart. At the end of this video, I am going to give you the solution. So you can pause this video now, open your notebook, and try these examples on your own. Don't forget to like this video, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow me on my social media, Instagram and Twitter, that's at Numeritos TV. If you want to suggest any objective or if you want to leave me a comment, I will really appreciate it. Bye-bye.